hello guys welcome to solving solutions on one channel where i get solutions to all your solving problems it's nice having you in class again today how have you been on today's tutorial we are going to determine the vertices of these polygons and then we are also going to get their coordinates right good now we have some polygons here and then if we open the attribute table we are going to see that um, there are different stations right good that we have used to maybe label the different polygons so we want to know the vertices and then subsequently determine the coordinates of what each of these um each of those vertices right good so we come to the app toolbox then um, data management tools we open it up and then we come to features right good now the first of which we are going to use is um feature vertices to points right good so um it creates um a feature class containing points generated from specified vertices or locations of the input feature so the inputs will definitely be the polygons and then by default let's use this um, output um, feature class and then the points that we need we have um, the LPR that shows us um, which of the type if it is all if it is to the midpoint the the start the end both ends or maybe the dangle right good so if you read through this um, help you are going to see what each of the options mean right good so let's use all and then um, we click on ok okay we have a um, success report if we look at the layers panel we are going to see that we have what a point layer right good so when we zoom in to each of those um, polygons we are going to be seeing what they are um, vertices represented as points right good so the last part which is trying to determine the coordinates of each of these vertices would now be for us to use this other tool here yeah, which is what to add the xy coordinate right good so if you open the attribute table here yeah, you won't see the xy coordinate yet right good however when we use this add xy coordinates now it actually modifies what the input feature that we want to add so our input will be the what the polygons um, feature vertices to point and then the point feature whose xy will be what will be appended what as point underscore x and then point underscore y field this appending actually modifies what the input feature class right good so we click on ok all right we have a success report so if you see now we don't have any new layer right good because the last um, operation actually updated our point layer right good so we now have the point underscore x point underscore y right good so these coordinates actually represent the coordinates of what the different vertices that um, we have here right good so how do you identify them you use what the station um, number so this is station a down to this point and then you can see what the coordinates right good so if you observe closely you are going to see that the starting coordinates and the ending coordinates are the same this shows that we have what some closed loops right good because of the closed loop you know to form a closed polygon the starting coordinate and the ending coordinate will definitely be the same right good so this is similar for all of different stations if you come to b and then you come to the ending of b you are going to see that the coordinates are the same so that will help you know okay if this is for a or b or whatever the case is so you have been able to extract their vertices and subsequently their coordinates so you can decide to copy this out and then maybe paste it on excel or maybe use it for any other reporting right ctrl a helps you to what to highlight right good to select all of them so to copy use them um, ctrl shift c right good that helps you to copy right so we are on excel now just want to paste whatever we have copied so you see now it has been pasted so you can modify the different fields to remove what you don't need we definitely would not need this and that right good so we can take those two out and then we have what the x and then the y or the eastern and the northings as we want to represent them right good and then we can proceed with whatever we are doing so thanks for coming to class we hope we have provided solution to this particular problem we are going to see you on the next tutorial ensure you keep staying safe and have a very good time 
Bye.